It is with great excitement that I have the esteemed honor to welcome the Meraki staff, esteemed parents, and our 2020 graduate to Meraki's inaugural graduation. We have a great program for you tonight with words from San Juan board member Pam Costa, Superintendent Ken Kern, many special guests, and a stellar musical performance. I have been honored, humbled, and amazed by the dedication, commitment, and creativity of the group of outstanding individuals graduating today. Although I find myself currently retired from education, I feel very lucky to be with all of you today. Just a few years back, a pack of deviant educators with a most unique and masterful set of superpowers began creating an unschool where pupils could hack an education. This terrifically talented group embarked on the most amazing educational journey of my career with a savvy group of teens that sought to find a less traditional way of surviving high school. I am so proud to have been a part of the Unschool Turn Meraki High School project. I have always been a steward of risk taking, and all of you took a risk when you joined in on creating San Juan's newest school. I have tremendous admiration for all of you, teachers, students, and parents. I feel very privileged to be part of this graduation, and you all represent a piece of my life. While at Unschool or Meraki, I stress the importance of starting small, failing forward, and always biasing to action. Please remember that these affirmations are to be a part of your life forever. I know they have served me well, and I want them to do the same for you. I was once asked what I thought each and every graduate from Meraki should be able to do when they graduated. I would like to share my three graduation requirements with you now. Each of you should have the ability to effectively answer your own questions with online resources, old school books, and human connections. No question should feel off limit or impossible. You should find a way to get started answering it on your own every time. All of you should now have the ability to explain your own values and how they differ from your families, friends, and societies. And lastly, I would hope each of you have the ability to tell your own story. I believe that these skills will not only get you through life, but they will lead you to a rewarding life as you will be destined to be a learner for life. To quote Eric Hoffer, an American moral and social philosopher, in a time of drastic change, it is the learners who inherit the future. The learned usually find themselves equipped to live in a world that no longer exists. Please go forth with great confidence in yourselves. Be forever humble to all the learnings in this amazing world, because in the end, one never knows. My most heartfelt affections to Meraki's inaugural class of 2020. Hope that you take the jump don't fear the fall Hope when the water rises you build a wall Hope when the crowd screams out they scream your name Hope if everybody runs you choose to stay Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad The only way you can know is give it all you had Hope that you don't suffer but take the pain And when your moment comes you'll say So many places, the things that I did with 
On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to congratulate you for your great achievement. Congratulations to the Meraki High School graduating class of 2020. Also, congratulations to the parents, family members, and friends of the graduates. A sincere thank you to the dedicated staff who have taught, supported, counseled, and led the school during your time here. Your graduation marks two firsts. You are the first graduating class of Meraki High School. You are also the first graduating class in the history of the San Juan Unified School District to be graduating virtually. Having followed some of you since the first days of the UnSchool, I can only imagine what other firsts you will manifest throughout your very talented and creative lives. This is a graduation that none of us wanted for you. COVID-19 changed our world. It's disappointing. Your graduation ceremony is the gateway into your new adult self. To be the first graduating class called for a very special occasion. And I wish I could wave a magic wand and give you the ceremony of your dreams, but that isn't reality. You have chosen a path that was different than many of your peers, and you created an educational program that met your needs. You followed your passion. You saw the world as your classroom, and you saw yourself as a co-teacher to explore and design the projects that would guide your learning. You are perhaps the very graduates that we will need to help us create the new and better post-COVID world. Albert Einstein said, you can't use an old map to explore a new world. You have been creating your own maps throughout your four years at UnSchool and Meraki. You can help vision and create the maps that guide us through how businesses and schools and entertainment will look post-COVID. Your creativity, ingenuity, and independence are very much needed now. As you create roadmaps for the future, always keep your moral compass in your hand. This new world that you are creating needs people who have integrity and a sense of fairness for all who live here. Always be involved in the world as you have been at Meraki. When I looked at the pictures of you pre-COVID at the senior citizen facility at the Capitol, volunteering and on trips, I realized that your roadmap already includes volunteering, respecting the environment, and being politically aware. 
always find time to give back by continuing to volunteer. Be politically aware, understand democracy, vote in every election. Those should all be on your roadmap. Continue your education in whatever way is right for you. Lifelong learning is critical and your roadmap should offer choices for you and everyone on the planet to learn and change as the new post-COVID world emerges. Meraki grads, you'll be following your roadmap, but I predict you will also be creating the maps for others to follow. Use all that you've learned and you will create the best possible maps for the best possible world. Because as Einstein said, you can't use an old map to explore a new world. Congratulations, graduates. I can't wait to hear about all that you accomplish. Make us proud. We're counting on you. Time is a funny thing. Sometimes it feels like it's bursting forward like a raging bull. Sometimes it feels utterly stagnant. This is an illusion, however. Time is just a construct. It feels real, like it has a flow similar to a river, always advancing forward with a sense of direction. But time isn't real. Change is real. Each one of us subconsciously constructs a sense of time in our minds, which shapes our perspective of reality. It is only in recognizing this that we begin to see beyond the illusion of time. This isn't to say that we still don't feel time, or that the measurement of time isn't real. But the feeling of time is a perception, your perception. And you may not think that you can affect it or change it, but you can. We all can. A simple way of doing this every day is just by smiling. When you smile, it releases a cavalcade of chemical reactions in your brain, which actually makes you happier, which in turn makes your perception of time seem faster. This has been a very difficult period for all of us, undoubtedly. But it's important always to remember that no matter how much your world feels like it's crumbling to the ground and that your life is ending, it isn't. That nothing ever really ends. This too shall pass like everything. Congratulations, you're graduating, but you knew that. You could probably have done it earlier if you wanted to. I miss so much about you, Alex. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my class without having someone there trying to overthrow me um, on a daily basis. You helped other students um, to accomplish their goals, and that's really, that's really appreciated in what it takes to be a community, and you are a true community member. Now, we're gonna miss that. We're gonna miss your attitude. We're gonna miss your sense of humor. We're gonna miss everything. Um, that you bring to our advisory. It's just not going to be the same. So I wish you the best of luck, man, and I will talk to you later. Ava Puchalowski, from day one, I've admired your independent nature. From jumping on the mega bus to San Francisco for your photography internship, to taking your trip to Portugal, 
And even though that didn't work out the way you planned, I was impressed you still managed to walk away with a positive attitude. You've got some skills, Poochie. I don't know many people as organized as you. I've always loved seeing your notebooks and planners and journals and sticky notes and your rainbow of highlighters. Your skills and drive are going to take you places. I'm excited to hear about all the places you will go. We've butted heads at a time or two. We are both a little stubborn, but we always worked it out, and I, for one, have grown because of what I've learned from you. David, thank you so much for being in our advisory this year. I wasn't CT, but you accepted me anyways. I uh, love your sense of humor. I'm going to miss that very much. Uh, you add so much in advisory with your willingness to ask questions and answer them and take the lead when needed. Um, that was much appreciated. You are a true entrepreneur at heart. You are going to do some amazing things with that in your future, I am sure. I know you will always come around and check on your little brother and say hello to us, uh, so we really appreciate that. Um, I'm very proud to call you a graduate and alumni of Mayrocky High School. Elijah, you came to Mayrocky with a dedication and determination to get one thing done, and that was to get out into the real world. And with your own perseverance, commitment, and a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears, you achieved that goal. I enjoyed watching you navigate the work world, the community college system, the bus system, and your humorous stories and advisory kept us going. And with that, thank you for all the laughs we had working on that novel. You are a forward thinker, and I know that will carry you far in life. So here's a special acknowledgement to our very first Mayrocky graduate. Congratulations. Emily, congratulations. You're graduating. Um, it's an awesome accomplishment, and I know you have plenty of other accomplishments that you're going to be making. You have a drive and a passion that when you really care about something, whether it's politics or a goal that you have set for yourself, you can overcome any obstacle um, to get there. With that and that, that perseverance that you have, I think the, the sky's the limit if you push towards that goal and you go where you want to go with it and you really dedicate to it. Awesome, congratulations. I'm looking forward to what you're doing next.
Gavin, you have so many gifts. You are truly a maker at heart. Your problem solving and creative spirit will lead you to success. Gavin is a talented presenter. He's able to read his audience, engage them with their interests, and use the right level of humor while still delivering the information that he needs for a presentation. I am definitely gonna miss you and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Whatever you decide to do as your next step, I know that your passion, your organization, your self-advocacy will always lead you to success. Isaiah entered UnSchool as a quiet sophomore. Uh, he soon developed a passion for script writing where he spent countless hours over the last few years working with Beebs to grow his craft, to seek feedback, and to push himself further than I think he ever thought he could achieve um, with his writing skills. The pinnacle of his presenting was he re presenting to the San Juan Unified School Board, representing Meraki and sharing um, what our school is all about. And we really appreciate that you did that. So we wish you the very best in your next steps, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for you. We'll miss you, Isaiah. Jacob Bartlett, you've always been a Renaissance man, from technology to music, graffiti to anime, boxing to jewelry making, your interests have run the gamut. I've always appreciated your honesty in what you want to do, and I've always admired the why behind your choice to come to Meraki. I have watched you grow into a humorous and confident young adult, and I'm extremely excited for your future. Thank you for joining us, congratulations. Jacob entered UnSchool mid-sophomore year and he was a man with a plan and that plan was doing projects, learning maker skills, um, some maker skills that he right away engaged in is, is trying to make a model ballista, he made a Bluetooth speaker, he made a ping pong ball cannon. He was always trying to figure out ways he could incorporate makerspace into his learning in different competency areas. You have all of the academic and self-advocacy skills that will make your next steps at college very successful. Keep working hard and keep making, you will be missed.
Justin has a passion for technology. One of his first projects was investigating how oil cooled electronic components could impact personal computing in the future. Since his time at Meraki, what I, the time I've seen his greatest growth is when he engaged in a statistics course at community college and he then recognized that he had the skills to be successful with whatever came his way. Justin, you will be missed. Um, the best of luck to you in the future. Um, I know that you're gonna knock it out of the park with whatever comes your way. Take care. Justin, your mom told me one time that you were born an old man. I know exactly what she's talking about because I don't think I've ever met anyone your age that has the knowledge of history, politics, and economics that you do. And it's not just in that area, it's in your music choices as well. Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, and you're not just a fan, you can play those licks and riffs with the best of them. Keep doing that. Make sure you keep giving that gift to the world. I have so much enjoyed having you in my advisory and talking with you. I know you're going to be great at whatever you choose to do. Best of luck to you, man. Hey Malachi, congrats on being part of our first graduating class. I am so glad you decided to come back to Meraki for your senior year. Um, so many cool things we got to do between archery and snowshoeing and schoolorama over at Mariloma and the camping trip, just all really cool, cool fun events. So glad you got to be a part of that. But just even having you around, you're such a, an addition to advisory and just really enjoyed uh, our time together. So congrats again. Uh, I know CT wishes he could be there to see you walk across the stage too. Best of luck moving forward and do your mom proud. Max, it was a long road, but you are here finally at graduation. Congratulations. Um, you proved yourself to be such a deep thinker. I just love the questions that you would ask. Uh, always caused me to, to ponder greatly of the things uh, that you were curious about. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, but best of luck moving forward, and I will see you soon in the future, I know.
Raymond, I've watched you over the last couple of years. I've seen the way the wheels in your brain turn. You look at things with such an amazing amount of curiosity and you try to figure out how they work and try to figure out how you can make something better. You have the heart and soul of a designer and an engineer and those qualities will serve you so well in the future. Go forth, make your future and be great. Thank you for being part of what we did here at Meraki. Leonard. I, uh, I've always had this diagram in my mind of showing the different levels of push I needed to give kids as an educator and you sir are at the far end of that diagram. You truly embrace learning because you love to learn. Um, you are a self motivator. You are pushing yourself constantly and that is going to take you so far in this world. You truly added so much to the campus uh, and you taught us all a lot about what it takes to be a great person. So thank you so much. Uh, and best of luck going forward. Ryan Cox, the man with a the plan. There's so many things that I could talk about, but I'm gonna focus on the trails you've blazed for all Meraki students. You've been a leader in taking advantage of courses at the local community colleges, establishing a robotics club, getting Science Olympiad up and running, managing 3D printing, and the first Meraki graduate to be accepted to a four-year college. You're the best kind of leader, a person that leads by example. I look forward to seeing where your leadership skills will take you. Lastly, we've talked about this many times. Find the balance. Take care of your business, but take care of yourself too. Make sure you take the time to do the things that bring a smile to your face. Emily Jean Alderman Jacob Elijah Bartlett Ryan Joseph Cox Jacob Robert Jackman Justin Charles Lemon Reed Thomas Leonard Max Lloyd Munger Raymond Christopher Murphy Elijah Gregory Nelson Gavin William Pace Alex Nevis Perez Ava Therese Pereira Pusilowski Justin Christopher Reynolds Malachi Bobby Ricks Isaiah Ochran Schoen 
David William Stewart. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We are all so very proud of you. The class of 2020 is a unique class of individuals. The seniors graduating from high school today have had to overcome some of the greatest obstacles experienced in recent history. The students of the graduating class of 2020 were born into a post 9-11 world. The world you grew up in was one that had recently been attacked by evil. The world was less innocent than it was just a year or so before you were born. And the citizens of the world were embracing a new way of life that required a new kind of vigilance. You were born into a time of great cooperation where everyone held tight to family, friends, neighbors, even strangers as we moved forward in time. You were raised by a generation of individuals who knew the value of togetherness and community. And it shows in how each and every one of you have flourished. Teenagers today know the value of staying connected. Social media is a prime example of how your generation has accomplished this kind of unity, where strangers can be as valued as family and connection is imperative to survival. Your generation is unmoved by challenges and no obstacle placed in front of you has ever had the last word. Your fighters, warriors in a sense, better prepared to face the unknown, armed with relationships that define who and what you are. Today, the country, though may be the most divided it has ever been, still in this time, even now with pressures of COVID-19, our students are resilient, unshaken and creative in their approach to managing the unknown. In trying times, your generation reminds the older generations that this too shall pass just as the unsure times of our past. I see a great sense of hope in your approach to life, and I'm confident that you will have the resolve and determination that is so essential to success in future endeavors. To students of Meraki High School, you began as unschool and stepped up to the challenge of breaking the change of traditional education and risking it all. Not only did you take charge of your future, but you had a direct hand in how your path was paved. Over the last three years, you've been able to steer your educational ship, bravely navigating uncharted waters. Many have already delved into college or have begun pursuing your future careers. We all look forward to seeing your generation continue to transform this world so that it may be more peaceful, united for a greater good, always working toward helping the individual beside you regardless of your differences. At Meraki, we strive to build a strong sense of community, and we hope that you take that with you as you move forward from this place. As I close, I want to share with you a story. It reminds me of this graduating class. One day, a farmer's donkey fell into a well. The animal cried piteously for hours as the farmer tried to figure out what to do. Finally, he decided the animal was old and well, the well needed to be covered up anyways, and it just wasn't worth retrieving the donkey. He invited all his neighbors to come over and help him. They all grabbed his shovel and began to shovel in dirt into the well. At first, the donkey realized what was happening and cried terribly. Then to everyone's amazement, he quieted down. A few shovel loads later, the farmer finally looked into the well and was astonished at what he saw with every shovel of dirt that hit his back. The donkey was doing something amazing. He would shake it off, step up, as the farmer's neighbors continued to shovel dirt on top of the animal. He would shake it off, and again, he would take another step up. Pretty soon, to everyone's amazement, the donkey stepped up over the edge of the well and trotted off. Life is going to shovel dirt on you. The trick is getting out of the well, shaking it off and stepping up. Each of our troubles is a stepping stone. We can get out of the deepest well just by not stopping, never giving up. The class of 2020 will forever be remembered for your ability to take on challenges, both great and small, with confident strides. We wish you the very best in life as you move from this place. 
and we are profoundly confident in your abilities to take any situation in which you find yourself and make it work for you and with you and never against you. Congratulations on a job well done and may your futures be bright. Hello, I'm Superintendent Kent Kern. By the power vested in me by the State of California and the Board of Trustees of the San Juan Unified School District, I hereby authorize the issuance of diplomas of graduation to the students of Meraki's first graduating class of 2020. And now, the time that all of the graduates have been waiting for. The time to turn your tassel. This moment signifies your transition from finishing high school and moving forward into your future. Please now move your tassel from your right to your left. Congratulations, Meraki class of 2020.